everyone welcome to my channel here we talk about true crime in five minutes so let's go straight to the point well my manusa was a fashion model she was born in egypt but miss girl decided to move to the u.s in 1986 and that's where she met her husband bill nelson who at the time was a pilot and that's when everything goes downhill because thanksgiving 1991 she stabbed him with a pair of scissors and then she hit him with a clothing iron and she only stopped when it broke on her hand. After making sure he was dead, she decided to dismember him. She cut his head and put on the refrigerator and the other body parts she put on plastic bags and threw it away. Which was pretty dumb but because the police found the body parts and when they identified who it belonged to, they went to her house and when they got there they were expecting a lot of things but definitely they were not expecting to find his head in the refrigerator and she was arrested when she was arrested she confessed to the crime and she told the psychiatry that after killing him and throwing his body parts away she realized it was thanksgiving so she cooked his ribs and ate them and she even said that it was delicious and sweet but a few years later she denied that she said she's not a monster and she would never eat a person she explained to the psychiatry why she killed him she said that she was constantly abused by him mentally sexually and sometimes he would force her to sleep with other men in exchange for money she also told the psychiatry why she kept his head on the refrigerator she said that she would later break his teeth as a symbol of revenge, as if killing him wasn't enough. Her defense claimed that as a child, she was submitted to female genital mutilation that unfortunately in some countries is legal. And you do not expect a child who goes through that type of trauma to be mentally okay. But either way, she was pleaded guilty. And until this day, she still is in prison. And I'm getting tired. So that's all I have for you. Thanks for watching.